www.greenmommyshop.org or at Green Mom on Twitter. And today I want to give you four ways that you can save money on your laundry. If you're like me, you're doing laundry a lot. And if you have more than two kids or a large family, you're doing laundry all the time. I feel your pain. And that can get really expensive. So the first thing you need to do is make your own laundry soap. At the very end of this video, I'm going to provide you with a recipe and how-to on making your very own laundry soap. And it's super easy, and you're going to avoid all of the conventional chemicals that usually come in the leading brand laundry soap. Um, it'll save you a ton of money, it's super easy, and you're going to be kissing me at the very end of this video, okay? The second thing you can do to save money on your laundry is use vinegar for your fabric softener. If you watch my last video, I show you exactly how to make this happen and how you will completely avoid the vinegar smell, you'll save money, and you'll keep your washer sparkling clean. The third tip is that if you are a dryer sheet person, and I know a lot of people that like the scented dryer sheets, okay? So if you use dryer sheets, I think these are seventh generation. We buy dryer sheets because we put them in our camper because it helps keep the critters and the spiders out of our camper. That's just a little side note. But if you cut these dryer sheets in half, you will actual, actually double the number of dryer sheets that you can use, therefore not having to buy them as often, and they'll do the exact same job, okay? Tip number four, use cold water. You do not need to use hot water to do your laundry. And if you use cold water, what you'll find is that you'll actually, the soap will actually rinse better because it decreases the suds. Hot water, for some reason, makes everything sud up more. Um, so it'll rinse your clothes better, and you'll use less energy, which therefore will reduce your utility bill um, when you're doing your laundry. So use cold water. All right, I promised that I would show you how to make your very own laundry soap, and you're going to you're you're going to be like, oh my gosh, how come I have never done this before? Because it's so easy. Boil four cups of water. Okay, pour three tablespoons of borax and three tablespoons of your super washing soda into the bottom of your gallon jug. Then pour your four cups of boiling water and add three tablespoons of your favorite, favorite eco-friendly dish soap, okay? Liquid dish soap, three tablespoons. So you can use um, a number of different brands, EcoStore USA, Shackley, Method, 7th Generation, whichever one has your favorite scent, whichever brand you really like, you need three tablespoons of the soap, liquid dish soap, okay? Eco-friendly liquid dish soap. Then, it's not going to fill your jug up all the way and you're going to see some suds. What you do next is you fill it up the remainder of the way with ice cold water. That's going to break down the suds so that you don't overflow the gallon size jug. And you fill it with ice cold water. And this is what it's going to look like. Now what I do is I shake it a little bit and I add a half a cup to every single load. Or if you have a washer that actually has the automatic dispenser. You just fill it and you leave it be. Um, and every once in a while I just shake it. I have a front loader HE. I have absolutely no problem with over -sudding. My clothes turn out clean, they smell fresh, and I have no issues. And I don't have to worry about the conventional chemicals. I'm saving money. I'm recycling my old um, containers. And it's so easy. So make your own laundry soap for the first tip on saving money on your laundry.